This video is rated TV 16, has some harsh language which may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. So heavy metal explosion I am here with seekers yes many seekers um, this here is this is ramjet uh, you can tell I really don't have a whole lot of interest really not in this character by any stretch of the imagination mainly because I didn't really have an attachment to the cone heads they weren't my favorite set of seekers I decided to get this in order to get my thrust have a sex tuple let's it's I don't know anyway to have all six seekers and I guess I did want to get the completed set and maybe if I'm lucky um, I'll get that sandstorm and if I get that then I'll do a separate one on him just like I do a separate one on thrust but with that being said let's get him center stage here so we can go through this character here and you see there are some minor differences not a lot on paint apps you got this up here the yellow uh, or the golden red going down you've got all the same construction base you do have on these knee caps some red and gold and some black let's go ahead and turn them around oh look at there we got a Decepticon insignia but we go straight to the back and relative it looks exactly the same everything and you may not know my dislikes, so we'll go through my <laughs> dislikes about this mold. And one of the major problems with this mold, it's an upscaled, modified version of the Classics. The Classics was a very, very good figure when it came out at the time mainly because for me not so much for the robot mode although I like the robot mode the jet mode really threw me over the edge I really enjoyed you know messing around with it in jet mode uh, I didn't have a problem with the size I did think that it was a bit small all of us wanted something a little bit larger and this did that for the Seekers. This is a good size. I think it's a great size for the Seeker mold. The problems that plague the Seeker mold, in a sense, also plague this mold. And the biggest thing we see here is this here. Now, I know it's not attached to the head anymore. As you can see, it's turning the head. Ooh, that's tight. Turning the head left and right, and then having this move as well. The other thing was we didn't have a waist swivel. Now, you don't have a waist swivel here, and that, I believe, is mainly due to them trying to keep him in scale with other figures 
we have Megatron here. And as you see, they want Megatron to be larger than most other Decepticons. I also think that a couple millimeters in order to get that waist swivel, I don't think that would have been a big deal. So I think it's very possible that they could have put this guy, the, or the Seekers, a waist swivel in there. Other than that, you know, those are my two complaints, at least in robot mode. This is a good Seeker mold. This here should be <laughs> in years to come. Something that they can fall back on and give us a Sunstorm, Acid Storm, or Hot Link. I would collect this jet, these jet formers, these Seeker molds, original uh, head sculpt here. I love that head sculpt. Can we, uh, let's raise that up. Oh, no! Anyway, um, I love that, love this head mold. I love it. I don't like the open mouth, okay? I'm going to get that out the way. I don't like it. I think it sucks. Unless you give us multiple heads, Hasbro, it's not great. It's not great. It's not, it's not. It's not, okay, all right. But one of the better things that they've done with these two in particular Seeker molds is that they took away the um, tail fins. So these are technically, this section here is technically a new section because it would have been attached back here in that slot there because this was the one that moved the tail fin on the other three. So they kept these, I believe, and we'll go through a side-by-side -side comparison to see what all they changed. They kept these, the heel and the toe, but changed this out. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. We do have a little bit of chest piece that's been remolded here. No, we actually, we do have a chest piece that's been remolded. So this has been all remolded. This up here is all the same. The shoulders are the same. Forearms. And the fists. These here are smaller. There's different designs here. That's way different than that. Um, this is all different. But this pelvis piece is the same. The thighs are the same. This part of the leg is different. And this whole section as well is different. Now the back looks like it's molded from the same design. The heels and the toes are all going to be the same. All this back sculpt looks like it's basically the same. So, uh, and probably because it's attached to the intake. All right, now let's get on with transformations. So let's do this. And as you well know, I don't use instructions. So what I have forgotten from the last time I transformed this mold goes the same here. If I break it, this is a costly venture if I break it because I believe this guy are sold out in the US. So Obviously, we know the aftermarket is probably hundreds of dollars for these guys. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get these arms out the way. And while we're doing that, let's 
transform these arms. So we're going to bring this up. I usually, well, no, I don't usually because I don't transform my toys anymore. But I do like having transforming toys in my collection. Go figure. Is that a conundrum or what? So we slide this down in here. We shut this back, roll this fist up. We make sure that black piece here is facing out that little hole. All right. And I'm going to take the head and man, mine's tight. Spin it around. Let's take this and, uh oh, okay, I may not be able to do that yet, but I do know we need to bust this open. And there's really no easy way to do this part. You know, they should have added some kind of hinge back here in order to do this. But my goodness, there is no easy way to do this. So. Mm. Is that because my head is turned around wrong? Oh, my God. Have mercy. I'm going to scratch the paint all up off of this guy. Let's do it this way. Bam. So, I didn't scratch the paint for nothing. Well, that's one damaged part down. So, we did screw something up, didn't I? We. We did it. We did it as a team. All right. Let's turn that around. Bring that up. Let it lock into place there. Ooh. Take your arms, put them back down to the side, and fold them in. Now, if I can keep from tearing anything else up, we close this chest back up, back up, up, up. Oh, God. What did I screw up now? <gasps> no. No. Jesus. This thing. What do we got going on here? We got something out of whack. I've got something out of whack. Y'all guys didn't do it. We are actually, I think we're going to actually have a first here where I break something. All right, it looks like this whole arm is a problem. Not good. God, I get, I'm glad I'm keeping this thing in robot mode after this. Jesus. Well, they're not latching in like this. I don't know if the other one is <laughs> going to be the same freaking problem, but let's get on with the transformation so we can rest assured we can close those down. Mm -mm. And Tab the legs in. 
open this up and let's get this oh we're gonna break this too aren't we oh my god anyway all right now on the yeah boy that looks weird on it oh god i broke it no i didn't all right <laughs> i'm worried my ass off aren't i <laughs> so this came up for the regular seeker mold we leave this down and we just close this ever so nonchalantly up um, <laughs> this is another problem I find that I dislike about this mod to this mold and that is these knee pads come up so far they don't tuck away in here like they do when they're in robot mode so they actually sit out and obnoxious it's it's obnoxious we take these main wings put them down take this and see if i can break something here good god oh Maybe I should go watch somebody else's review on this thing. And, <laughs> and there we go. Now, like I said, I don't have this mold in the classics. So you'll have to take my word for it that this here, I like their jet modes. I've always have. But I didn't like their head sculpt. And that's bad for my, on my part because it's a nice jet. Now, again, because of this, you can't see that. Hell, I can't see that. Okay. Now, <laughs> because of the way these knees sit, they tend to sit up like this. So, that looks good if it was on a display, but... You know it's not being displayed <laughs> so uh, yeah I, I like this I, I I got I'm gonna have to transform another one in order to see if get this done so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with another jet fumble fumble um <laughs> all right so, man, I don't really, I don't have this thing raised up enough as is. So, they're relatively the same, same size, same length, and but where this has classic nostalgia for classic jet mode, you know. I'm not a jet enthusiast. I can't tell you all of these jets that are out here, how fast they go, et cetera, et cetera. And I can't even tell you if this is based on a theoretical jet or an actual jet. I can tell you it's kind of has some keys to an SR-71, but not 100%. So, you know, for sake of argument, let's just say it's a theoretical jet. <laughs> um, yeah, they're about the same length. And as you can see, they have the same basic design. Uh, they have some of the, obviously some of the same molding keys cues cues um, they're still 
as some would say, a brick under a jet. <laughs> but I mean, really? I kind of get tired of that because it's not like you could do a whole lot of hiding a robot under a jet uh, unless you have a lot of panels to form around it. And then, well, we can get in that discussion at a later time. And underneath. Oh, oh, I'm so fumbly. I'm so fumbly here. All right. So obviously we have the same basic setup here. What's the same minor differences. And again, this is put together a whole lot nicer under here. And this here just isn't. Yeah, I think they could have maybe done something different to at least make it look like the knee pads, but not actually be that tall of knee pads. Uh, as you can see, my chest piece here is a lot, there's a lot going on with that right there. Whereas my star scream is sitting down a little more flush. Uh, the head fits up in there real nice. And of course I had to screw it up and try to turn it around and whatnot and make him have peekaboo eyes out of here. But you know, I scuffed up his head paint. So I'll have to hopefully find something to paint that up with. And, but this also fits up in there nice and neat. So the jets, even though they're a lot about them are the same. There are also a lot of differences about them. And that's something that, that I think we all enjoy about the differences between the cone heads and the regular seekers. But I'm kind of more of a regular seeker guy. I just like that, what is it, the F-16 mold. In the end, I think this is, it's a great purchase. And with that being said, guys, I have to give it to you until next time.